Hi, I'm Karn from the Air Zoo, and as part of our STEAM Halloween, I'm going to bring you some true life tales of terrifying monsters, real monsters, living among us. No Halloween soundtrack would be complete without the sound of a werewolf howling at the moon. But there are real life, hairy, eight-eyed creatures roaming the night in their solitary hunt for prey. These are wolf spiders. And instead of a web, they use their excellent eyesight and their speed to capture their prey, instead of a web. Some wolf spiders will chase their prey and other, others will stealthily stalk until they pounce in an instant. Wolf spiders are actually excellent parents as well. Um, female wolf spiders will carry their egg sac with them, and when the baby spiderlings hatch, they climb up to her back where they'll be safe until they're old enough to fend for themselves. Speaking of Halloween creatures of the night, never get too close to a vampire. They have very, very bad breath. You've probably heard of real life vampire bats, um, but don't be too afraid. These bats live in Central and South America, the, the common vampire bat, and they prefer domestic animals for their nightly blood meal, like cattle. And they don't actually suck the blood of their, their prey. They slice it, a real small slice, and then they gently lick it up with their tongue. Did you know that vampire bats will actually share their blood meal back at their lair with their brood mates by spitting it up. Sharing is caring. You may not have heard of another blood eating animal, the Dracula ant. Dracula ants tend to their larval young in colonies and they feed them poisonous centipedes among other very yummy treats. They are thought to have the fastest jaws on the animal planet, snapping shut at 5,000 times faster than the blink of an eye. But sometimes the adult ants get a little hungry themselves and they make a tiny non-fatal snack of their young's blood. Well, technically hemolymph, because insects have hemolymph, but still creepy. Although you'll find a lot of skeletons at a Halloween party, they don't really enjoy themselves. They have no body to dance with. Our next creepy creature is behind all the great skeletons of natural history museums around the world, the Dermestid beetle. Dermestid beetles eat the decaying flesh of all kinds of things. They'll eat fur, feathers, scales, books, carpets, anything. These are the cleanup crew that museums use to prepare a skeleton for further dis display or study. Kind of disgusting, but really important. So the next time you see a skeleton at a museum, thank the lowly beetle, the dermestid beetle. Did you know that there is a fungus among us that turns ants into zombies? Not all fun fungi are fun guys like this one that makes the antibiotic penicillin. Our next creepy creature is a fungus called Ophiocordyceps. And what it does, its spores infect ants in warm, humid places like Florida. And when the spore is growing inside the ant, it actually affects the ant's behavior with a cocktail of poisons. The ant will, as the fungus is growing, crawl up to the tallest point on a piece of vegetation and clamp on with a death grip, completely against its own will, while the fungus continues to eat it alive from the inside out. And finally, at the right moment, a fruiting body of the fungus will pop out of the insect, releasing its spores for another cycle 
of infection. One insect that makes people shudder is the cockroach. So perhaps it's poetic justice. Our next creature, the beautiful emerald wasp, turns cockroaches into zombies. First, the wasp will sting the cockroach to paralyze it. And next, it will very carefully sting the brain of the cockroach to inject a cocktail of neuro-controlling chemicals that completely change the behavior of the cockroach. It removes the cockroach's normal impulse to scuttle away and instead will allow the wasp to take it by the antenna to lead it like a pet back to the wasp's lair. And once there, the wasp will lay a single egg on the abdomen of the cockroach where it will grow and eat the insect alive. The, the larva of the wasp will actually exude an, an antimicrobial substance to keep the cockroach alive as long as possible. And then finally, like a mashup of Alien and Night of the Living Dead, the, the fully formed adult wasps will pop out of the cockroach ready to find another victim. So the next time you're watching a delightfully scary or dreadfully scary Halloween movie, remember, not all creatures are figments of your imagination. There are real life monsters among us.